What's going on YouTube? I am so stoked for today's video. I honestly have a busy day of a bunch of stuff I need to do and some things I want to actually share with you guys. Some things I'm pretty stoked about, so stay tuned for that. Now, something I've been wanting to do for the channel and I've kind of had to wait for everything to arrive was I'm gonna be switching some things out in this office, some things on the shelf, some things with these lights back here. I think you guys are going to like the new additions or things I'm changing in here. Fun fact, I actually love having stuff play in my office up here, but I don't know, something about having like an NFL NFL game playing while I'm recording a video. What if we just air played um, a playlist of my own? Can I do that? Yeah, I can do that. Now, a couple things to kind of update you guys with right off the bat with this video. I recently gained over 10,000 followers on Instagram in under 30 days. That's right. 10,000 new followers in under 30 days, which is mind blowing. So that's actually another video I'm working on right now for the channel. As you guys may or may not know, I actually have a couple videos out already talking about my Instagram growth hacks or tips, my strategy. So I'll have them linked up here and down in the description below. That's insane. So it's super cool because I feel like the community is such a strong knit group and the support has just been insane. So having like 11, 12,000 new people come in in the last 30 days is just mind-blowing and YouTube's doing great too okay now the second thing I want to talk to you guys about which I actually have up on my Apple studio display right here this is something that has been in the works now for coming up on I would say six to nine months and that is my brand new latest preset pack for Lightroom now I feel like a lot of times creators will put out a Lightroom preset pack and they kind of just don't put too much effort into it they're just trying to make a quick buck and you can kind of tell right they didn't test it on a bunch of different photos there might only be a few in the pack or it's just kind of looks similar to everything else. But I can say without a doubt, this Lightroom preset pack that I have now put out, every single photo that I'm putting out on any of my socials right now, I'm using one of these Lightroom presets, at least as the base edit. And I'm not kidding you when I tell you I've spent a ton of time on these presets. They work for both Lightroom for desktop as well as Lightroom mobile because I know a lot of people don't have a full subscription to Lightroom where you get it on desktop. Some people only use Lightroom mobile. So I've spent a lot of time to make it easy to install it on both. And I also included a whole installation video to make sure you guys are able to install them the correct way. And I'm telling you, I absolutely love these presets. I'm so, so proud of them. And you guys are actually hearing about them first in this video. So first link down in the description below if you wanna pick up my new Lightroom presets. It really helps support me and the channel. I won't take up this entire video talking about it, but I appreciate all the support. And if you guys do end up picking them up, be sure to tag me over on Instagram if you use any of the presets for yourself. I'm telling you, I think you're gonna like them. Now I'm sure you guys are pretty familiar now with kind of my main backdrop here in my office it has a bunch of stuff that I love obviously mostly including shoes ghost energy uh, Kobe Bryant quote different cities I've lived but it's honestly looking a little messy things are getting cluttered at this point and I figured to kind of start off the new year maybe give this shelf a little refresh but first we got to unbox a few things all right let's go ahead and unbox these things Let's start with this big one first, okay? So as you guys can see who it's from, it's obviously from Aperture, which if you guys didn't know, they are the brand that I use for actually most of my lighting here in my office. I have this big one that's lighting me right now called the Aperture 120D Mark II with the Light Dome Mark II on it. And then in the back back there, I have um, actually a Godox light down below, but the diffusion on that is actually the Aperture Lantern, I believe is what it's called, which is like that dome shape there, which I love it. It kind of lights up my entire office, which all that stuff I bought on my own, but which is really cool for me and kind of milestone for my channel and my content. Content. Aperture checked out some of my content and they said, you know what? Let's go ahead and replace all those other branded lights in your office and make sure you're just rocking nothing but Aperture. And I said, sure, send it over. So here we are. All right, so I'm not gonna lie. I already know what this is because I told them which one I wanted. So as I said, my main source light here in my office is the Aperture 120D. D stands for daylight and 120D is the amount of power that it produces. This right here, this right here is the Aperture 300X. So this is gonna give me a little bit more power than that light. And then also the X stands for its bi color. So I don't have to be stuck on just daylight if I wanted to, which is actually super exciting. Now obviously the power supply and all that other stuff's in here, but I won't get all that out right this second. All right, let's open up the other Aperture light here. This is actually one of their tube lights. 
I believe like it's their sub company called Amaran that makes some even more affordable price stuff. I believe this is a two foot tube light because I use a tube light um, on my shelf back here. And again, they wanted to uh, make it all aperture. So sure. So we're gonna get that hooked up there in a minute. Let's see, I think this is the last package from them for now at least. So this is actually a different type of diffusion. I'm actually gonna make a whole video or a whole at least reel on this. So stay tuned for this. Now this one is kind of already unboxed here, but if you see what this is, obviously I'm a huge basketball fan. I'm a large Drake fan. One of his brands or companies is called Nocta. And when I saw that they were dropping a full black basketball with kind of that logo, the Nocta, all that on there, I thought that this would be a really cool addition maybe in the office. So we're gonna see, we can find a spot for this on that shelf back there. This is sweet. I actually, you guys didn't see it. I dropped um, a short form vertical video showing off the Nocta shoes that also came in that collection. It's basically an Air Force One that's more premium. Instead of Air Force One, it says, love you forever. So I'm big on details, brands or collabs, anything like that that are killing it on details. I want everything to be part of that. So super sick. Now this last one I'm actually pretty excited about. You guys can see right here, this is a high ground keyboard. Now, as you guys probably know by now, I work for Ghost and we're actually partnered with FaZe. So although I'm team FaZe, I'm always team support your homies first. And one of my good buddies, Lo, who's one of the sickest content creators out there right now. If you don't know him, definitely check him out. I have him linked down in my description below. He's now part of 100 Thieves. So he had the team hook me up and send this out. And this is their new high end keyboard, which is absolutely sick. This thing is so dope. So shout out to Lo for killing the game right now and uh, for the little care package as well. Your boy's been getting some games in recently and I've been wanting to upgrade my keyboard. So this actually came in at a perfect time. Listen to how good this sounds. This angle probably looks crazy. I literally just have my tripod sitting <laughs> on my desk right now. But before we switch out anything on the shelves, we obviously need to move some things out. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. This is actually a cool piece that's been on my shelf for a while and I wanna keep it on there. But these were influencer boxes that were sent out, I don't know, a year, year and a half ago. And my now very good friend Holden actually sent me out one before I was associated with the brand at all. And I kind of use it as a display case for my top four flavors. This was the top four flavors, time to update it. So here we go, three, two, one, boom. All right, so here's the updated ranking. Cherry Limeade 1, Orange Cream 2. Finally got dethroned, that's a big deal. Who knows, maybe someday it'll come back. Swedish Fish 3, and then Max's Straw Bango Margarita 4. This was limited edition, so it feels a little wrong to be in my top four. So if I had to replace that one, it'd be with the Tropical Mango. But there's my updated ranking list right there. All right, so this is the progress I have made this evening, all right? so. Let's check out the shelf here. That's obviously gonna get cleaned up here soon, but here's kind of the updated backdrop and shelf. And honestly, I'm really vibing with it. So I have that new Amaram light tube up here. I actually really like this one. And I think this is actually super affordable. I'll have it linked below. Got that Nocta basketball over here, obviously held up by some gaff tape. That is some true videographer stuff right there. And then I have some of my absolute favorite shoes. So these are the Lost and Found Chicago Jordan 1s. I was talking about these, I think in my last YouTube video. These are a very iconic, Iconic shoe and obviously I'm here in Chicago so that's a must. Then we have arguably one of my all-time favorite shoes right here. These are the Cactus Jack Jordan 1 High Travis Scott shoes. A true OG and one of my all-time favorites. Got the Jackie Robinson Dunks up here with some cool boxes there. Then down here I got this F-150 that my guy Matt built me. And then these shoes right here Ooh, almost dropped them. These are the LeBron 2s, and this is one of the most iconic pairs of shoes that I've ever owned. I grew up wearing these, hooping in these, and they helped make me fall in love with shoes and basketball and all that stuff. So these re-released this past year, so I had to pick these up just for the memories. And then obviously the energies I was just talking about. And yes, okay, shoe tour video is coming. I just need to make the time for it and figure out exactly how I want to film it, okay? But it's coming, I promise. 
Now this light right here, the 300X, I think I'm actually gonna hold off with installing quite yet because originally I was thinking about putting it back there, but I think I'm actually going to swap out this light and put this one back there and then replace this one with that one, all this stuff. But I actually want to make this an Instagram reel and actually take some photos of it as well. So stay tuned for my socials on that. By the next YouTube video that goes out, I'll be using that one. This is a big boy. I'm excited to see what this thing can do. All right, so in traditional fashion, once the office was clean, I had to take a couple pictures. And wow, this is such a great time. I'm gonna actually use some of my brand new presets. All right, so let's take a look here. A couple ones that I know are great for the office right away. Certified Fresh is great on like everything. I use that a lot for the office. I like Rodman and Taxi a lot too. Rodman's great, but I like to sometimes turn down the intensity a little bit. That right there, that looks pretty good. Um, but you know what? I think I'm actually gonna go for this one. I'm gonna go Certified Fresh because that's pretty much all the way there. Might just crush the shadows a little bit more on that. I think that's good. Then let's go to the next one. Certified fresh there. Boom, same thing, looks great. One more, boom, looks great. One more, boom, looks great. Certified fresh, killer preset. Let's see what a different one would look like if we can make it. So let's see, Rodman also looks sick. I think for this one though, Taxi actually looks really good too. So bring down the highlights just a tad. That's it. That looks pretty damn good as well. All right, so real quick, I'm actually editing this video right now, but I forgot to mention one of the coolest parts about these presets. All these presets are named after my favorite shoes from this past year. Certified Fresh, Reverse Mocha, Taxi, so on and so forth. It's a tiny little detail, but if you know me, you know how important details are. I wanna give you guys a preview of what these presets actually look like on like a nice photo. So let's go to this one right here, right? And take a look at all these different presets on this one photo right here. This is a real photo shot on a mirrorless camera. All these honestly look pretty good. I mean, honestly, any of these work, especially as just as like a baseline, something to build off of, but these are honestly all pretty much ready to go right off the rip. But I think Rodman is the winner for this one. All right guys, so that's gonna wrap up today's video. Honestly, this took me a lot longer than I thought it would, and it probably doesn't seem like it on camera, but taking all this stuff out, cleaning it, and then putting stuff back in here actually did take a little while. But I absolutely love this space. I'm excited to get these lights switched out and just make this an ever-evolving creative space that just keeps getting better. And as always, I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. Stay tuned for my next YouTube video, which is going to be my strategy and tips on Instagram growth right now. 10,000 followers in under 30 days is crazy, so I wanna be able to share that information with you guys. And again, real quick, I do wanna just say, if you guys pick up my new Lightroom presets, please be sure to DM me or tag me if you use them over on Instagram or honestly any socials. I would like to personally thank you as well as show some love on your content that you use them on. Now, I got some pretty cool things coming very soon, some things that you guys have been asking for over and over again, especially in my DMs. I won't say too much yet, but it's coming. But guys, that is gonna be it for me in today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you haven't yet, be sure to drop this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to the channel as well and turn that bell on so you guys get notified for all my new uploads because I think it's going to be a big year for the channel. Be sure to go follow me over on my other socials if you aren't yet. But guys, I am out for now. I'll catch you in the next video very, very soon. Peace, guys.